When COVID hit the world, the media were quick to talk about the long-awaited technological revolution in education. But the first impact reports confirmed that the sudden shift to emergency remote teaching presented significant challenges, not the least of which were the lack of digital fluency and a host of access-related challenges for both staff and students. While most of the impact studies focused on student needs and experiences of emergency remote teaching, there was little formal focus on the effects of ERT on educators, particularly in fields requiring practical technologies for learning and research, such as engineering. The South African Society for Engineering Education is dedicated to growing and supporting a community of practice comprising academics, support staff, postgraduates, management industry and professional bodies, all interested in promoting excellence in engineering education. As a society, we were concerned about how to support our members in these challenging times. Our strength lies in providing forums for sharing, networking and disseminating engineering education information. But to determine how to support our members, we needed to know how they were experiencing emergency remote teaching. In conjunction with Stellenbosch University, we conducted a national survey between August and September in 2020, taking a holistic approach, looking at the professional, personal and practical impacts of emergency remote teaching on engineering academics and postgraduates. The survey asked four key qualitative questions about the effect of ERT on the working environment, the implementation of communication measures, and invited comments on key challenges and successes. The responses were analysed using three educational support dimensions, the cognitive, affective and systemic. The survey drew over 20,000 words of rich descriptive narratives from over 60 participants across engineering sectors in various roles. When asked about environmental challenges, there were the expected descriptions of challenges in working from home with regard to sharing space with other family members, particularly those with small children. Access to devices, data, effective bandwidth, equipment all cropped up. And this, in fact, sensitised many of the respondents to their student situations. Every imaginable platform made its appearance in the question around communication measures. By far the most common complaint was around the issue of online forums. What is clear from the data is how overwhelmed staff felt by the information overload they experienced. Again, this had the effect, in a few cases, of making academics and support staff aware of how they communicated with their students. The challenge section of the survey drew by far the most detail, from comments on the time-consuming re repurposing of activities, the recording of lectures, to poor student engagement. By far the most common challenge cited was that of stress and exhaustion. And then there were the reflections on success. Many report having spent more quality time with family. There is data on the benefits of remote working, particularly for those who wish to miss the commute. And a significant number developed strategies that they feel will be useful going forward. If you'd like to read more about this research project and other engineering education initiatives, please visit our website www.sasee.org.za.